And what's up mga kalalams? Hi, hello and mabuhay. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. And you're watching Miss Gay Paco 2019. And for more transpagentry videos, please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and tap the notification bell for more updated transpagentry videos. You? I'm so, so overwhelmed because of the people's applause. Though it's raining, it is still the faith and the spirit of this place, you know, puts our heartbeats twice as it is. Thank you so, so much. Okay, here's my question for you. Okay. Can you name one contribution of the LGBT community to the country? All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Can I name one? contribution of the LGBT community in the society. There are so many I could say, but this is one question and it is one answer should I give to the judges. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, you can see at every little parlor, or every corner of the parlor in every city, we have transgender, we have LGBT community there making beautiful people, making the society beautiful as they are. We are there in what do we call teachers or professor in the line of education. But what I can say is the biggest contribution of the LGBT community is this, simple as this. We inspired people of the society to stand for what they believe is right on an ordinary day. You know what? It is so much, it's so much cliche to say that being a gay is just being joyful. No, it is not. Because we are born in this world, but then again, we are not accepted on the world we were born to. Ladies and gentlemen, whether you like it or not, whether the world say it or love it or not, we would be here. The LGBT community would stand as a battle to inspire people that even though on an ordinary day, you would see us of because of our sexuality, but still, we are here to inspire you that whether you will discriminate or accept us, we will still give thanks for all those discrimination. Because with those discrimination, we are now standing, fighting for what we believe is right, and that is the essence of our existence. It is so hard to inspire another human being, not only because of what your status is, not only because of who you are or what you are, but having this cruel life, having this cruel but yet beautiful life that God has given to us, I believe we are born not only to inspire, but to be there with the society, to give the world a great message that we are all given a chance to live a life. Therefore, let us live it to the fullest, share it with one another, and most of all, accept one another. The greatest inspiration I could give as a member of the LGBT, I am now standing in front of you. So you always remember that in a single minute of your life, in a few minutes of your life, the person or the people whom you discriminate on an ordinary day had given you the best seat among all. And that is all the enjoyment that you are now all experiencing. And as for that, as an LGBT part, we all would like to be happy. So let's just make this world a happy place to live in. Not only for us, not only for LGBT, not only for women, men, or children, but for the rest of humanity. Thank you. Thank you very much, candidate number one. Just hold on lang. May question na po isa. What can you say about Soji Bill? Isang word lang dapat. What can you say about the Soji Bill? It is a responsibility. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to pick uh, judge number five. Um, if you were to be a judge of a competition, where will you base your decision? Substance or form? Pardon? If you were to be a judge in a competition, 
Uh, where will you base your decision? Substance or form? Well, thank you so much for that very wonderful question. For me, I think it should be, it should be form. Why did I say so? Because I believe, ladies and gentlemen, in this platform, you should show first your beauty and your talent, and most lastly is the wit. So you can educate each and every people that this beauty pageant is not just a baklaan or a game. This is for an educate each and every people that we LGBT is standing here to fight what is our right and we should be learned to accept, not just to be tolerated, but the most important thing is to do your part as a candidate. Because as you're doing your part as a candidate, you can show to them and you can educate and diminish every discrimination by the ordinary day. So this platform should be for gays that can educate every people and it must be a full package. So I can say that would be the form. Thank you so much. And for candidate number two, may question tamo sa yo isa. As part of LGBT, what can you say about Soji Bill? One word lang. No need to explain. One word. Pass. It should be pass. Thank you. Honorable <laughs> panel judge number two, Bob. Good morning, ma'am. And to the rest of the panel, but of judges, good morning as well, Bob. So, I prepared three questions. I would like to ask you one number and what is it? One to three numbers only. What number, the number? Same, same number. Okay. My question is, what is your stand about the incident of Miss Correction Diaz or something experience? That's all. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, panel of judges, I don't want to be sounds cliche or romantic, but allow me to answer that question direct to the point without using any misses or else memorizing terms to become my answer is proper. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here standing in front of you for the LGBT community, a woman who fighting for our rights, and I am also here for those persons who enjoy fighting rights to others to enjoy. The issue about Miss Gretchen Diaz is all about she wants to be in a comfort room for a female. Do I in favor in what happened? Simply ask no. Why should I say so? Let me think of it. Ladies and gentlemen, she, as a transgender woman, put him away, carcel him, paalisin, is okay. Pero ang itaboy na may kasamang posas ay hindi po Always remember this, this moment of time, we need the soji build, which is sexual orientation and gender identity. Why? Because we LGBT deserves the life that God gave it to us. Simplify this, the rights of a straight man and the rights of a straight woman is the same rights of we LGBT people fully deserves. Always remember this, guys. To those transgender, to those people who watching for tonight's competition, at higit po sa lahat sa lahat ng babae na nanonood sa gabi nito, but hindi nyo po kami hayaang umihi sa inyong palito. Dahil, dahil tayo kami. Kung ano man po ang gagawin nyo sa inyong palituran, umihi, tumumi, mag-retouch ng makeup, yun at yun lang din po ang gagawin namin. Dahil lagi po natin itong pakatatandaan, gaya po ng pusong tumitibo, meron din po kami pagtog na naihihi. Salamat. Okay, number three. Katulog nga lang in one and two. Since ayun na rin naman yung sagat mo, in one word, summarize Soja Bill. This is what we need. Thank you. Thank you very much, candidate number two. Next, may we call it candidate number four. So what is so great at the end? Good morning, ma'am, and the rest of the panel. I choose judge number three. Magandang gabi sa iyo. Magandang gabi po. Pamilyar ka ba sa isyu ng pinag-aagawang teritoryo ng bansang China at bansang Pilipinas? Yes po. Ang tanong ko ay ito. Kung ikaw ang Pangulo ng Pilipinas, ano ang gagawin mo sa pag-aagawa ng teritoryo ng Bansang China at Pilipinas? Thank you for that wonderful question. 
which needs a brilliant answer. Let us wait for the other judge. Okay. If I were given a chance to be the president of the Republic of the Philippines, what would I going to do between the rivalry of China and the Philippines? Ang pag-agawa nila sa teritoryo ng bawat isa. Ladies and gentlemen, I do believe that weapon fighting each other is not an answer for you to understand between two countries. Dahil ang kailangan po natin is what we call proper communication. Alam ko po na kailangan natin ipagtanggol ang teritoryo ng ating bansang Pilipinas dahil ito ay nangarapat na mapunta sa akin. Ngunit hindi ko po gagawin ang pag-aaway ng parehong bansa para lamang makamkam ang isang teritoryo. Ang dapat po ay maayos na pag-uusap dahil walang malulutas na problema kung nagbabakbakan tayo sa isa't isa. All we need is love. All we need is respect. So ladies and gentlemen, kung ako po ang magiging presidente, dadaanin ko po ito sa tinatawag na peace talk o pag-uusap ng dalawang bansa. Kung ito ay nararapat na ibigay sa China, I will give way and lead it. Kung ito ay nararapat na mabigay sa Pilipinas, ipaglalaban ko bilang Pilipino na atin ang teritoryong ito. But all we need... Tunin lang natin yung ano mo, yung uh, what do you call it, emotion or pananaw sa Soji Bill in the one world. One word, no need to explain. It is what we call acceptance. Thank you. Thank you, George. Yes, wala ka ng choice. Dora maganda. Well, the poor candidate is so laban na laban. So my judge is judge number four. Your may lack is in your question, Madam. For the past few years, nobody has ever resolved the problem on traffic. Do you think it will ever be resolved? Well, the question given to me is that from the past years, no one resolved the problem of traffic. Well, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, yes. And yet, a fact that no one resolved the issue of traffic. Why? Because our government implemented a lot of rules in order to avoid this traffic. There is number coding, color coding, just to avoid this traffic. But mind you, ladies and gentlemen, I've been working as an entertainer in Japan and I've witnessed how they live their life, how Japanese work together and how Japanese are being disciplined. That's why there are not so much problems and most of all, there are no problems regarding a traffic. Simply by this, Bakit ang mga Pilipino have a chance to buy a car pero wala po garahe? You know what? The fact that our rule in our government here in the Philippines, if you have a little money and you can afford to have a down payment, then you can have a car. But the fact that you don't have your own garage, the fact that you don't have how to, to have a discipline as a driver and have a own car. Excuse me, excuse me. You just answer my questions. My question, huh? Because my question is, do you think it can ever be resolved? Yes or no? The question is answerable by yes or no. Then you explain your answer. I, I don't. Go around the bush, okay? Okay, sorry for madam. Well, yes, it still can be resolved. Yes. Yes. Please. Sorry for that because I'm just going to end it by yes. 
on my end of the answer is. Okay, the question given to me is that it can be resolved. Definitely, yes. Like what I said, if you have this knowledge to yourself, bakit ka bibili ng kotse kung wala kang garahe? Bakit ka bibili kung if you don't have the rules in your mind, knowing what is the rules of being a driver? And bakit ka bibili ng car if you yourself don't have the discipline? Then, definitely, we must know first to ourselves if we are capable of having a car. If we are responsible of having a car. And if we are working in using this car. That will be all. Thank you. Thank you again, candidate number five. Last question. About Saudi Bill, one word, no need to explain. Who? Oh. Thank you very much, candidate number five. For this one, is best in national costume. Oh, blogger. Me. What? Uh, all right. Blogger. So, the winner for our Blogger, best Barbie in Barbie. national costume, and uh, he's going to receive Sash and a cash. Okay, Sash and a cash. Okay, the best in national costume goes to number two. Number Number Well, your bet is good as mine. It's candidate number three. by judge number two, escorted by uh, Kagawad Manex and SK Chairman EJ Pascual. Where's EJ? Okay. So, the winner for our best in talent, number, number what? Thank you very much, Katari number two. Okay, our next minor award is best in long count. Okay. Sit on bed now. Barangay number number number. All right. For this one, this one it will be awarded by judge number three, uh, Mr. Gerardo Aquino, and of course my B2 Kagawad Bill Macariaso. Okay. Thank you very much, candidate number.
for five. On the next award, or minor award that we're going to give you is the best in swimsuit competition. Even though there are five. Wait, wait, wait. Caro, caro, P, wait. Wait. Even though that there are five candidates here, we still the judges manage to give same score. So meaning to say we have a tie. Here. We have a tie here okay. in the swimsuit competition. So they're going to share on one sash, but they have. Um, they are going to receive the same amount. Of the cash prize. Cash prize. Yes. Okay. Oh so, see the number for the Pito Sabata, number! 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 Okay. Just to announce, the best in swimsuit is candidate number five and three. Congratulations! And this one is to be awarded by... <laughs> this one to be awarded by Kagawa, Sheriff Perino, and together with Congratulations, her is Ayi Villarico and judge number four, Alex Brosas. So this is my decision. We're going to call the runner-ups and the title holders. So there will be the re a remaining two candidates, okay? But they still managed to have a consolation prize, even they were not being called, all right? So we're going to announce the second runner-up, the first runner-up, and the Miss K Universe 2019 for our barangay. Okay? So, for the second brother up, this one will be awarded by two of our judges. Uh, judge number one, um, Rodora Ambrosio Natividad, Miss Maria Elena Barohan, Together with the uh, together with them is SK Chairman EJ Pascual, and uh, with her as well is Kagawad RJ Natividad. This one consolate I know second runner up. Okay, the second runner up will go into reserve. 2,000 pesos in cash plus GC. plus a gift check from yes. Capi Brands plus a teddy bear and a sash. Okay. So, the second runner-up goes to the second runner-up goes to Candidate number 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 number. Well, I heard so many voices. It's candidate number one. Which Ruba Gutierrez? It's police tango. Our first runner-up will be awarded by Kagawa Cheryl Pilino, Kagawa Manix, Kagawa uh, Wilma Ariaso, Kagawa Wilma, 
Okay, and judge number three, Jerry Aquino. Okay, so the first runner-up will going to receive 3,000 pesos plus a gift check from Coffee, Coffee Friends plus a teddy bear as well and the sash. Okay, so our first runner-up, see the bad thing So, our first runner-up, hold your breath, girls, it's candidate number, number, number five. So, it's uh, Jackie Gonzaga, the other girl. Okay. So we still have a remaining three candidates. Yung mga saksi ni Kero Kero Ki nagwawala doon. Masyadong exams. Okay. Ito na. And this one is to be awarded by... Kagawad Embong, our Kapitana, Lydia Tang Adriano, siyempre our Barangay Secretary also, Jubi Lozada. Okay, and Mr. Alex Rosas. Okay, so our title holder here, which is uh, the Miss Gay Universe 2019, Girls, uh, it's the third time here in the middle. She's going to receive 5,000 pesos plus an overnight stay accommodation stay or an accommodation stay hop-in hotel a crown a teddy bear and a stash as well. Okay. So, Okay. Do we not need the pencil? See them betting on Manalo. Number. 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 So, our Miss Gay Universe 2019 of Barangay 684. Congratulations again, candidate number three. Congratulations, our Miss Play Universe 2019. Thank you very much for saying lahat. Si Kero Kero, pinakakatulog na. So ayan, ito na ang ating mga blazers. Masa-message ko eh. Pwede pang komis? Maraming maraming pong salamat ulit ha. Pasensya na sa mga kapitbahay kung medyo 